Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by our friends Fusilla Kia of Cape Coral. This morning, we'll tell you about a man charged in the 2015 deaths of a Lehigh Acres family. A poll showing which constitutional amendments have the most voter support for November and more. Today is Wednesday, June 13th, and this is the Morning Report. A man originally from Belize will serve four life sentences in the 2015 killing of his relatives in Lehigh Acres, including a cousin who was six months pregnant. Now 22, Brian Omar Hyde was sentenced to life in prison on four counts of second-degree murder. In the case, prosecutors said that Hyde, 19 at the time, used a machete to kill his aunt and her 17-year-old daughter, along with the daughter's boyfriend. An additional murder charge was added in the case because the daughter was six months pregnant at the time. The bodies were discovered on August 12th of 2015 and Hyde was charged in the crimes a day later. He was already in police custody at the time he was charged as Fort Myers police had pulled him over for driving erratically in his aunt's car without a license. Police also said at the time of the arrest that Hyde had packed a bag in the vehicle and that there was blood on his clothing. The Lee County Sheriff's Office charged him with murder shortly thereafter. The case saw brief national attention in 2015 when President Trump, then a candidate seeking a Republican nomination, used Hyde's mugshot in a social media post attacking primary opponent Jeb Bush on immigration. Only four of the 13 state constitutional amendments on the November ballot have enough voter support to be enacted, according to a poll from the Florida Chamber of Commerce. The poll, conducted in late May and early June, showed four amendments with the necessary 60% of voter support. Those include Amendment 1, which would expand the Homestead property tax exemption, Amendment 3, backed by Disney World and the Seminole Tribe of Florida, which would require voter approval of gambling expansions in the state, including allowing casinos, Amendment 7, which would require the the payment of death benefits when first responders are killed while performing their official duties. The measure would also establish a governance system for state and community colleges and require a supermajority vote when raising student fees. And Amendment 8, which would impose an eight-year term limit on school board members, would also allow an alternative process for approving public schools, including charter schools rather than by local school boards, and would establish a requirement for teaching civic literacy in public schools. In a memo sent Friday to the chamber, the organization's president noted support and opposition for the 13 amendments will be impacted by media campaigns seeking to sway voter opinion. Some ballot measures fell short of the 60% approval requirement, but were close on the survey. Among the measures with the lowest voter support was Amendment 4, which would restore voting rights to ex-felons who have served their sentences. Another measure that would ban greyhound racing in the state had just 47% of support from the voters. Amendment 13, which came from the Constitution Revision Commission, is being contested in court by groups that support dog racing. George H.W. Bush enjoyed a relaxing birthday on Tuesday as he became the first former U.S. president to turn 94. The nation's 41st president was receiving calls and taking it easy at his seaside home eight days after being released from a hospital where he was treated for low blood pressure. Several of his children were in town, including former President George W. Bush and Neil Bush, who called on people to volunteer to become a point of light. As President Bush encouraged others to be points of light, reflecting his belief that people need to help out in their community. Communities. Bush became the oldest U.S. president months ago and is the first to celebrate a 94th birthday. Former President Jimmy Carter isn't far behind at age 93, and he'll celebrate his 94th on October 1st. Two other former U.S. presidents, Ronald Reagan and Gerald Ford, made it to the age of 93. The CIA marked Bush's birthday by releasing declassified material relating to his tenure as the agency's director from 1976 to 77. The items include a video about his path to becoming CIA director and another about his farewell visit to the agency employees in January of 1993, the final month of his presidency. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Brie Walling. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.